Hello everyone, welcome to Prince Onir and today we are going to discuss about the next question answers. Okay, so this is a third video on uh, the back exercise solutions of NCRT of chapter 1 that is some basic concepts of chemistry. So, here we will discuss about the question number 21 to 20, uh, 30. Okay, so this one is the 21st question. Uh, the following data were observed, uh, obtained when dinitrogen and dioxygen react together to form compounds. Okay, so this one is there. Now, here you can see the mass of dinitrogen is given to you and mass of dioxygen is given to you. Okay, so that different data is given to you here. Okay, and uh, the first question is which law of chemical chem combination is obeyed by the above experimental data. This experimental data is given to you from this data which chemical combination law okay that is observed here and give its statement also okay first question is like this and afterwards second question is the filling the blank of conversions so that we will discuss later on firstly we have to do that first part so try to do that question yourself first and according to this I will just give you that hint okay mass of nitrogen is given no and oxygen is given. So, firstly it is 14 and then 16, then 14, then 32 and then 28, then 32, here 28 and 80. Okay. So, in that way if you will uh, divide these both numbers by 2, you will get this 7 here it will be 8, here it will be 7, here it will be 16, here it will be 14, 14 and here it will be 16 and if you will further cut it, you will get 7 and 8, okay. Here it will be 14 and then 40 then further on cutting that will be 70 and then it will be 20 okay then so now we got the values 7 7 7 7 here and here 8 8 16 20 here yeah? so these result we got means here i can write it in this way nitrogen and oxygen so the results are so the results are when you are taking nitrogen as 7 gram in grams no 7 gram oxygen that is needed is 8 gram okay it will be 8 gram so 1 1 and same result is here clear so next one is when you are taking uh, if you are taking seven, nitrogen 7 gram and you need oxygen should be 16 gram it may be 8 gram or 16 gram and once again if you are taking 7 gram and no uh, oxygen needed to be 20 gram okay so here you can see if we are fixing the amount of a particular element or um, type of molecules the other are in ratio Okay, that are part, at in the whole number ratio or particular ratio. That law is uh, applicable, uh, that type of example you have discussed in which case, I will give you that example also that we have discussed there. Hydrogen react with oxygen to form water and hydrogen react with oxygen to form hydrogen peroxide. Here it is half molecule. Remember that in that case, same type of category is this. Okay, so in that case, which law was observed? Yeah, that is the law of multiple proportion. Okay, in which the ratio are in the particular way. Okay, so it is a law of multiple proportion. Okay, law of multiple proportion. Clear? Clear? So, that is the answer of our first statement. That first statement. 
now we have to state this law okay so just you can copy this and afterwards we can state this law okay yes done so you can write the definition here law of multiple proportion so it states that okay it states that on fixing the when uh, when two or more two you can take okay two uh, elements combine to form more than one compound in this that case on fixing the amount of the mass of one element the mass of of other element will be in whole number ratio okay so that will be the almost statement you can write here and that statement i've just given to you in the previous lectures also you can check it out from there also clear so let's move to next question oh, oh sorry sorry this one question is there conversion okay related to the conversion here so first is 1 kilometer is equals to how many mini millimeter in millimeter we have to convert so do that question here we know that 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meters okay and as we know 1 meter is equals to 10 raised power 3 millimeter or you can say uh, in that way 1000 millimeter okay that you know very well yes or no so in this case what you have to do if 1 meter is carrying 1000 mm then 1000 meter will carry okay if 1 meter is carrying 1000 meter so 1000 meter will carry 1000 into 1000 mm yes or no we can write it as 10 to the power 6 mm and this well value is 1 km okay so answer will comes out to be 1 km is equals to 10 raised to the power 6 mm okay so answer here it will be 10 raised to the power 6 now we have to convert this value in picometer also so do do one thing uh, similarly here 1 km is equals to 1000 m and as here we know that 1 meter is equals to 10 to the power 9 uh okay picometer is there no 10 to the power 12 picometer because 1 picometer is equals to 10 to the power minus 12 meter and in that way 1 meter will comes out to be 10 to the power minus 12 sorry 10 to the power 10 to the power 12 picometer okay clear yeah. so here 1 uh, meter is equal to 10 to the power 12 picometer okay then but in place of 1 meter we have 1000 meter so 1000 meter will be 10 to the power 12 picometer into 1000 so it will be 10 to the power 15 picometer 
okay so here you can write it as uh, 1 kilometer is equals to 10 raised power 15 picometer so now you can write it here as 10 raised power 15 okay it will be 10 raised power 15 picometer okay so answer we got is 1 kilometer is equals to 1 kilometer is equals to Mm. Here we can use that uh, 1 kilometer is equal to 10 raised power uh, that will be uh, that is 10 raised power uh, 4 millimeter and that is 10 raised power 15. Okay. Now next is 1 milligram. 1 milligram is equals to dash kilogram okay now firstly we have to do in this way so we know that uh, 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 gram okay as we know that 1 kilogram is equal so 1 gram will be equals to 10 raised power minus 3 kilogram okay okay then that will that relation we know very well now 1 milligram is equals to 10 raised power minus 3 gram milli means 10 raised power minus 3 no that we have discussed so 1 gram comes out to be 1 gram mm -hmm, 1 gram comes out to be 1 gram comes out to be 10 raised power 3 milligram yes or no yes or no so here you can write uh, 1 gram is equal to 10 raised power minus 3 kilogram, 1 gram is equal to 10 raised power 3 milligram. So here 1 gram uh, in terms of value uh, kilogram, here 1 gram is in terms of value milligram. So we can uh, write in this way 1 kilogram uh, 10 raised power minus 3 kilogram equals to 10 raised power 3 milligram. Okay. So now we have to convert 1 milligram into kilograms. So the value for 1 milligram comes out to be 10 raised power minus 3 kilogram upon 10 raised power 3. So it will comes out to be 10 raised power minus 6 kilogram equals to 1 milligram. Okay. So the result will comes out to be 10 raised power minus 6. Okay. Clear? Now next one is next one is in terms of nanogram one man, milligram in terms of nanogram we have to convert okay so similarly we will do uh, one kilogram uh, one gram is equals to one milligram is equals to in terms of gram you can convert all these things okay one milligram is equals to 10 s power minus 3 gram okay and one nanogram in terms of gram is equals to 10 s power minus 9 gram okay clear so through this value we can calculate the value of 1 gram 1 gram will comes out to be 10 raised power 3 milligram and here 1 gram comes out to be 10 raised power 9 nanogram okay so we can just equalize these both values it will comes out to be 10 raised power 3 milligram equals to 10 raised power 9 nanogram now we have to convert 1 milligram into nanograms so 1 milligram is equals to 10 raised power 3 nanogram upon 10 raised power 3 sorry 10 raised power 9 nanogram upon 10 raised power 3 so it will comes out to be 10 raised power 6 nanogram so here 1 milligram comes out to be 10 raised power 6 nanogram okay so it will be 10 raised power 6 clear clear okay then Next one is 1 milliliter is equals to liter, uh, how many liters and which is equals to how many cubic decimeters. So see, we have discussed already that 1 cubic decimeter is equals to 1 liter. That we have already discussed. Clear? So in that way we have, we have to convert these values. So 1 milliliter, okay, firstly we can do that in terms of liter we have to calculate, no? So it will be uh, milliliter is 1 cubic 
सेंटीमीटर ओके सो व्हाट वी कैन डू वन लीटर इज इक्व टू वन क्यूबिक डेसीमीटर विच इज इक्व टू वन इंटू टेन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब ओके क्यूबिक डेसीमीटर मीन्स टेन सेंटीमीटर ओके सो आई कैन राइट इट एस सो टेन रेस पॉवर थ्री क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर एंड एज आई टोल्ड यू वन क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर इज वन मिली लीटर मीन्स टेन रेस पॉवर थ्री मिली लीटर ओके नाउ वी गोट दैट वन लीटर इज इक्व टू टेन रेस पॉवर थ्री मिली लीटर एंड फ्रॉम हेयर वन मिली लीटर विल कम्स आउट टू बी टेन रेस पॉवर माइनस थ्री लीटर so first answer will be 10 to the power minus 3 liter clear clear so next one is we all know that 1 liter is equals to 1 uh, cubic decimeter so 10 to the power minus 3 liter will comes out to be 10 to the power minus 3 cubic decimeter so both are equal okay clear so next question is If the speed of light is 3.0 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, calculate the distance covered by light in 2 nanoseconds. Okay, so that is a question here. Try side by side yourself also. Speed is equal to 3.0 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Okay. Calculate the distance covered. Okay, time is given to you. That is two point zero zero nanosecond. Okay, so speed formula is distance upon time. Okay, so here what we have to do? We have to calculate the distance. we got that distance from that formula that will be speed into time speed is speed is 3.0 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay time time is 2.00 nanosecond okay 2.00 nanosecond so we have to convert that time in terms of seconds so for nano value it will be 2.00 into 10 to the power minus 9 second okay clear so now we have to multiply this value here minus 9 second so from here you can see split second second is cancelled here and uh, 2 multi 3 multiplied by 2 it will comes out to be it will comes out to be 6 6 into 10 to the power 8 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter now you can see that 6 into approximately i am taking that okay no need to write that uh, in the decimal form so so 10 to the power 8 minus 9 Okay, it will comes out to be six into ten raised power minus one. So zero point six meter will be the answer here. Okay, clear. So that is the answer here. Okay, that is a simple one. Means that's of lower classes question here. Next question is now that is the important question here, and uh, it is containing. All, not only a single question it is containing five questions here okay so try that question that is related to the limiting reagent so the question is in the reaction when a react with b2 okay and it will form ab2 like carbon react with oxygen it will form carbon dioxide similar reaction is there okay so identify the limiting reagent firstly we have to identify the limiting reagent if any in the following mixtures okay if there is any means if there is a presence of limiting reagent then you have to calculate <laughs> not from our house we are we can put that uh, uh, we can just justify that this one is the limiting reagent we have to calculate it okay 
okay so first part is 300 atoms of a react with 200 molecules of b listen carefully so reaction is first reaction is a react with b2 it will form a b 2 okay so here a a number of atoms a in terms of this you can see that one mole of uh, react atoms of a react with one mole of b it will form one mole of a b 2 okay so in that way we have written now yeah so here what they are giving you 300 in first question 300 atoms of a react with 200 molecules of b okay so tell me hmm, which one is limiting reagent in this case here also that one mole of atoms of a required and here one mole of molecules are required clear so in that way you can see means if we are having one mole one atom of a react with one atom or one molecule of one molecule of b for one atom of a there is there will be a requirement of one molecule of b for means you can say for 300 atoms of a there will be the requirement of 300 molecules of b but we are having 200 molecules so if the molecule if the numbers are lesser that element that molecules or any particles which are in lesser amount okay or in which are in limited amount they are considered to be as limiting region so here b will be the limiting region okay here in first part B will be the limiting region. Clear? Clear? So, next is next question. In next question, I am just giving you the solution, okay? Direct solution I am giving you. You have to just justify it, okay? Properly, you have to explain this. Next question is 2 moles of A. A react with B. So, B2, it will form AB2. Okay, now A here one mole, one mole, and one mole. So here, what you are, uh, what they are giving you, two moles of oxy, uh, A react with three moles of B, and that doesn't matter uh, how many moles of A B two will form. Just we have to identify which one is in limiting amount. Okay, so here we we know that one mole of a react with one mole of B. So if we are having two moles of A, we need two moles of B. Clear? So just we need two moles of B, not more than that amount. But they are giving you three moles. So here, which is in limited amount, which is in limited amount, that is A. So, A will be limiting region in second question, okay. In the second part, A will be a limiting region. Clear? Simply direct questions are there here. Clear? Next is, uh, 100 atoms of, firstly, once again, we can write that reaction. A react with B2, it will form AB2, okay. So, firstly, what they are giving you, it means 1 mole, 1 mole and 1 mole. Now, they are giving you 100 atoms of A and react with 100 molecules of B. Okay. So, as we know, for 1 mole of A, we require 1 mole of B mole, B2 molecules, means for 1 molecule, 1 atom of A, we require 1 molecule of B2. For 100 atoms of A, we require 100 molecules of B2. So, in this case, no one is, is limiting region. 
ओके नोवल इज लिमिटिंग रीजन बोथ आर इन लिमिटेड लिमिटिंग रीजन यू कैन से और बोथ आर इन लिमिटेड अमाउंट ओके क्लियर सो नेक्स्ट वन इज A react with B two, it will form A B two. So molecules that one mole, one mole and one mole. Here A is given to you that is five mole, and B two is given to you two point five mole. Now, so for A we require only one mole of A and one mole of B two. Okay. If we are having one mole of A atoms, we require one mole of B two molecules. Clear. So if we are having five moles of A, we require five moles of B two molecules. But they are giving you two point five moles, means which are is with limiting reagent, okay, or limited amount. So B two will be in limited amount, or B is in limited amount here in the fourth part. Next one is. Next one, can I solve this here also once again? Next one is, it's given to you one mole, one mole. Okay, just you can compare it with it. Two point five mole of A, five mole of B. Okay now, so for one mole of A, requirement of B two is one. For 2.5 moles of A, we, uh, requirement of B2 will be 2.5 mole, but they are giving you 5 moles, so here A will be limiting amount, okay, or limited region, okay. So that is the answer of this question. Now, okay, that uh, one question was left, and uh, in that particular question, the, uh, the there was there was a uh, that amount. Given amount of nitrogen and hydrogen was missing there. Okay, so actually nitrogen is given to you that is two kilogram or you can say two point zero zero into ten is power three gram, and similarly hydrogen is given to you that is one point zero zero into ten is power three gram. Now reaction is nitrogen react with hydrogen to form two moles of ammonia. Okay, so now one mole of nitrogen react with three moles of hydrogen. It will form two moles of ammonia. Means nitrogen is having mass fourteen gram, so it will be twenty eight gram of nitrogen react with six gram of hydrogen, and it will form thirty four gram of ammonia. Okay, that is the meaning of this equation. Okay, so uh, if we are having that value of nitrogen is two kilogram, okay. So twenty eight gram of nitrogen react with six gram of hydrogen. Okay, means it requires six gram of hydrogen. One gram of hydrogen nitrogen will react uh, re require six upon twenty eight gram of hydrogen. Okay, so now here we are having. Uh, two point zero zero into ten to the power three gram of nitrogen. So what will be the amount of nitro hydrogen required here? Six upon two eight into two into ten to the power three. So just solve this value, you will get the result that is two a uh, four to eight point six gram. Four to eight point six gram. Okay. So that value is less than this value. Means the requirement of hydrogen is less, but we got that hydrogen in the excess amount. So here, which is in limited amount, that is nitrogen. So nitrogen is limiting reagent here. Okay. So will any of the two reactant remains unreacted? Yes, hydrogen remains unreacted. Remains unreacted. How much? Okay. How much? See, thousand gram is the mass of hydrogen given to you, and four twenty eight point five six. Sorry, it's reacted. So point four, uh, it will be one seven 
571.4 gram is the excess amount of hydrogen here okay so here nitrogen is the limiting region and uh, uh, yeah just you, if you want to calculate the amount of ammonia you can calculate it see <coughs> 28 gram of high, uh, nitrogen will form 34 gram of ammonia 1 gram of nitrogen will form 34 upon 28 gram of ammonia 2 into 10 is power 3 gram of nitrogen will form 2 into 10 is power 3 into 34 upon 28 just solve this value you will get the amount of ammonia that will be equals to 2428.57 two eight two four two eight point five seven. Two eight. Wait, wait. Two four two eight. Mm -hmm. Two four two eight point five seven gram of ammonia. Okay. Clear? Yeah. How are zero point five zero mole of Na two CO three? So that question we will do at last, okay. Now how are 0 0.5 mole Na2CO3 and 0 0.50 molar Na2CO3 different, okay. So capital M here it means molar. So 0 0.50 mole of Na2CO3, okay and 0 0.50 molar of Na2CO3. It means 0 0.50 mole of Na2CO3. Okay, this one is the amount of substance. Okay, it means comes, it will comes out to be Na2CO3 2 into 23 plus 12 plus 3 into 16. Okay, calculate its molar mass. It will come out to be uh, 46 plus 12 plus 16 threes are 16 plus 12 plus 16. Yeah, 60, 60, it will be 106, okay. So, 106 is the mole given mass in terms of 1 mole. So, for 0 0.5 mole, it will come out to be 53 gram of Na2CO3. Means, it means that 53 gram of sodium carbonate, okay. Means 0 0.50 mole of Na2CO3, it means 53 gram of Na2CO3. Now, what is the meaning of this? It means that 0 0.05, oh, wait, 0 0.50 moles of Na2CO3 in 1 liter of solution. Okay, one uh, 0 0.50 moles of Na2CO3 means. 53 gram means 53 gram of Na2CO3 in 1 liter of solution. That is a just difference between them. Means here it is 53 gram of Na2CO3 and here 53 gram of Na2CO3 in 1 liter of solution or you can say 1000 ml of solution. Okay, That is a ma major difference between these two. Next question is if 10 volumes of di, uh, dihydrogen gas react with 5 volumes of dioxygen gas, how many volumes of water vapor could be produced? Okay, then see. So, uh, if 10 volumes of dihydrogen, okay, react with 5 volumes of dioxygen okay 
how many water molecules will be produced okay then so in that particular case just we have to firstly balance that equation so it will be balanced now so here two volumes of hydrogen react with one, one volume of oxygen to produce two volume of water so for two volume of hydrogen there will be a requirement of uh, five volumes of a plus five volume of oxygen no no not five in place of five you have to write one one volume of oxygen it will form two volume of water okay clear means for two volumes of hydrogen there will be a need of one volume of oxygen and there will be formation of two volume of uh, water means two volume of water uh, will form two volume of sorry two volume of hydrogen form two volume of water so 10 volume of hydrogen will form obviously 10 volume of water so if 10 volume of dihydrogen gas react with what uh, five volumes of dioxygen gas how many volumes of water will vapor could be produced so answer will be 10 volume here okay so that answer comes out to be 10 volume water vapors clear next question try that question yourself also side by side okay so convert the following into basic units that is a most simple question here just you have to convert these uh, values in basic units means here it is picometer first one is 28.7 picometer so you have to convert this value in two meters 15.15 uh, microsec uh, millisecond okay so just you have to convert this in second uh, then this one is 20 uh, 25365 uh, that is milligram okay so convert this in gram Twenty-eight point seven into ten raised power into ten raised power uh, twelve minus twelve meter. Okay, picometer no. So it will be ten raised power minus twelve picometer comes out to be there. So here you can write it as two point eight seven into ten raised power minus eleven meter also. Next here this one one uh, fifteen point. 1 5 millisecond okay it is millisecond not it is not a millisecond it is a microsecond okay that is mistake here microsecond so for micro 1 5 1 5 into 10 raised power minus 6 second so 1 5 1 5 into 10 raised power minus 5 second so that will be answer here for this milligram okay so 2 5 3 6 5 into 10 raised power minus 3 gram for milli we are writing 10 raised power minus 3 and we can write it as 25.365 gram okay so that will comes out to be in the gram form okay clear next is which one of the following have largest number of atoms okay do it uh, do it now try to do this now yes then so yes so now you can see this which one of the following will have largest number of atoms 1 gram of AU 1 gram of AU means uh, 1 gram of uh, gold okay so here gold atomic mass is given to you if it is having 197 gram of gold it will carry 6.02 into 10 as per 23 atoms of gold so 1 gram of gold will carry 6.02 into 10 as per 23 upon 197 don't solve this value just we have to tell that question answer no so don't solve this value now 
Next one is 1 gram of sodium. Sodium is 23. So, 23 gram of sodium will carry 6.02 into 10 as per 23 atoms of sodium. 1 gram of sodium will carry 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 upon 23. Okay. So, that is the first one. That is the second one. Next one is lithium. Okay. So, 7 gram of lithium will carry 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. 1 gram will carry 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 upon 7. Next is chlorine, 1 gram of chlorine. So, it is carrying 35.5 gram. of chlorine molecules okay 6.02 into 10 s power 23 upon uh, that 1 gram will carry 6.02 into 10 s power 23 actually we are having that molecular mass now huh here we are having molecular uh, atomic mass so here we are having molar molecules so don't write it in this way okay chlorine atoms of chlorine but they are asking for the largest number of atoms. Okay, so one gram of chlorine molecules we are having. Uh, okay then. Okay, yeah. uh, one. Wait. The molar mole, molecular mass is seventy one gram. Seventy one gram of chlorine will carry six point zero two into ten to the power twenty three molecules. Okay. And 1 gram of chlorine will carry 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 upon 71 molecules. And one molecule is having two atoms. So, just to multiply uh, 2, 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 upon 71 atoms. Now, it comes out to be atoms. Now, that number which is having lowest uh, denominator okay will have largest number of atoms that is answer here okay so in this case this value is very bigger so neglect this here 23 and 7 okay so it is also be neglected now just compare these two values here it is 71 and here it is 7 but it is multiplied by 7 also so, just you can do one thing, you can cut it and we will get 35.5, now. Now, which is having uh, lowest denominator, this one. So, the lithium will carry largest number of atoms, okay. That will be the answer here. Here, lithium will carry largest number of atoms. Now, next one is, so next question is calculate the molarity of a solution of ethanol in water in which the mole fraction of ethanol is given to you. Okay. So, molarity, oh sorry, mole fraction firstly we have to write, mole fraction is x a we can say that for ethanol b is for water so uh, mole fraction of ethanol is given to you that will be n a upon n a plus n b okay and here which is equals to which is given to you that is 0 0.040, 0 0.040, okay, yeah. So, now what we have to do, firstly, we have to calculate the molarity of uh, a solution of ethanol in water. So, for the molarity formula is it is number of moles of ethanol upon volume of 
solution in liter okay that is the molarity here now <coughs> for that we have to calculate the number of moles and from here you can calculate the number of moles that is the value of na okay so value of na you have to calculate for that firstly we need the number of moles of nb or you can say number of moles of water so number of moles we uh, of water we have to calculate the number of moles of water that is nb we have to calculate so how we can calculate it number of moles the formula of number of moles is given mass upon molar mass okay given mass upon molar mass now mass of water is not given to you so actually we know that volume of water okay that volume of solution that is approximately equals to the volume of water approximately and uh, the density of water is supposed to be equals to 1 so if the density we know the density is equals to mass upon volume so if it is supposed to equals to 1 then mass is equals to volume means volume we know that it is 1000 uh, milliliter so similarly mass will comes out to be 1000 gram so it will be 1000 gram upon given mass molar mass is 18 so it will comes out to be 55.5 moles okay it will comes out to be 55.5 moles so the mole fraction here and a upon n a plus n b is comes out to be 55.5 equals to 0.040 now n a is equals to n a plus 55.5 into 0.040 just we have to solve this value n a is equals to 0.040 plus 55.5 into 0.040 okay so just solve this value here okay and if you will take this value uh it is also n a here and if you are taking this the uh, value uh, picking this value here side that will be uh, n a 1 minus 0.040 equals to 55.5 into 0.040 okay so just solve this value and on solving this value you will get the value of n a okay n a will comes out to be tell me that and a value and a will comes out to be approximately equals to 2.31 okay so here uh, number of moles of ethanol is 2.31 and here if you will put that value of uh, num uh, number of moles and volume is 1 liter only so the molarity will comes out to be 2.31 upon 1 2.31 molar so answer is 2.31 molar okay clear that's the only key point which we have to memorize that is this one and it will be used in next uh, class that is class 12 chapter number 2 solution okay in that case we will use that part okay then so next is what will be the mass of one carbon 12 atom in gram okay so that is a more a simple question here see if we will take 12 g of carbon 12 isotope okay 12 g of carbon 12 isotope it will contain 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of carbon okay means 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms their weight is 12 g okay so for one atom it will come out to be 
12 upon 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So, if I am taken considering this value as approximately 6, it will comes out to be 2 approximately 2 into 10 to the power 20, minus 23. Uh, So that uh, yeah, it will comes out to be clear. Is it clear now? To approximately, it will be, it will comes out to be one point nine nine something into ten to the power minus twenty three gram. So I am considering it as approximately two into ten to the power minus twenty three gram. Okay. So now, <coughs> okay. So that is the end of this lecture here. And uh, at last, once again, I would say keep studying, keep motivated and stay at home. Okay. So, thanks for watching this video.